Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Today we're taking a look at a Honda CB125JX or as they're more commonly known in Ireland as CB125S. A few little things about this bike. Uh, 15 horsepower, 14, 15 horsepower depending on how lucky you are. Um, front disc and rear drum. Has rear pillion pegs as well. Everything original on it. Uh, paint, seat, um, everything is, is original. Um, you'll notice as well that this is a 1971 bike and the more commonly known CB125S's never came with a front disc brake in 1971. So this is a JX version which is a Japanese domestic market only and in Japan they were always, they were the first to get this uh, kind of more a uh, modern style bike. Uh, when it first released, um, it was released with the fr uh, front disc in Japan and in kind of the European markets, they didn't get the front disc until uh, the mid 70s. So, I don't know, an interesting little fact about the bike um, that it has the front disc even though it is 1971, and that's why you'll see on the sides the JX. Um, as well as that, in America, they were known as CB125S uh, as well, up until the mid 70s, until um, they went on to the J series, which is just JX when they came out with the disc version. So just a few little iterations on the CB125S and the CB125JX. Condition wise, the bike is in really, really good condition. Front tire is very good. You do have some little signs of pitting in the chrome on the front mudguard, but all very nice. Front fork seals are perfect, left and right. Front headlamp assembly is really good. Indicators are good too, as you can see. Bike only has seven or 6,312, just going on 13 kilometers. Clocks are really, really clear. No fading in them at all. Nice bars on it, as you can see. All the, the dials, I should say, I can get a all the text on it is really nice, not worn at all. You can even see the little tiny writing here. And the right hand side too. Going onto the front spokes then, front wheel is in really nice condition. Even the front disc, you can see how little wear there is on here. Going onto on the exhaust here, all the way down. Really nice condition. No rust at all, even at the join points, which you see commonly. And there's that CB125J. So you know this is the original exhaust for this bike as well, with the heat shield going over the back of it. Here you can see it. And the original right-hand side uh, covers here, with the original stickering, little marks here, as you can see, nice Japanese writing to signify it being a Japanese bike. Your little 125 carb and your single cylinder spark plug there as well. Engine here and the kickstart all working nicely. And you have a helmet lock at the rear, rear spring, shock, all looking good. Some signs of corrosion in the center of the wheel hub around the actual alloy itself is in nice condition. Rear, rear tire then is uh, pretty much brand new. You can see the rear chrome is good on the back here, some minor, minor signs of pitting at the back there. Rear brake light is original, indicators are good. Left and right hand side. Seat is original, Honda at the back is starting to fade. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. You can see it there. Going over the top then, seat is in nice condition, still has the over strap. Tank then is in good condition as well, you can see a slight mark there and a slight mark there. Over to the fuel fuel tap. Let me just see if I can open that up for you. There we are. So underneath is really nice and clean. And same with the inside of the tank. As you can see there. Sorry, one-handed. And up to the left. So we go from the rear again. Chain guard is good. We have the foot pegs here also. Uh, the left hand side, side panel in nice nick also. 
little mark up the top here, little ding on the bottom left hand side of the tank. Left hand side of the engine is actually in better condition than the right hand side, nice original plates on the engine here. Ignition is in nice condition too. We'll guard the front. And that's a very detailed look at this CB125JX, so we'll go from the visual analysis onto the ride along video where we're riding the bike. Gone, we'll see now we get to the end of this road here. I'll just turn her off. There we go. Yeah, so a lovely little bike. We went through it about 15 brake horsepower, 14, 15 brake horsepower, depending on how lucky you are. Uh, only 6,312 kilometers on the clock. Super fun little bike to ride. Very easy to ride also. We'll go down into first gear. Keep her pedal to the metal here. We'll get around. And there we are. It's nice to get out though and be back. We're allowed open since the uh, 18th there. Today is the 19th. So it's good to be back and work in uh, some capacity. We do have a barrier up on the actual uh, garage itself, nothing allowing anyone in, but we are doing, um, we are bringing the bikes out that people want to see, that's the best way we can do it. It means that we have a safe zone in inside to work on, uh, so we can do a few bit of maintenance, servicing the bikes to so get them ready, that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna pull in here to the left after these van and so on and a few bikers and push bikes I should say get out of the way and just turn in left here you can barely make out the indicators on these six volt things it's just uh, nearly ridiculous okay so we're gonna get off the bike here now and have a look at her what she's like on the road Take a picture for the thumbnail on uh, YouTube. She looks lovely, doesn't she? Idling nicely. Like most kind of 70s bikes, they take a bit, they need to be run a bit, and then they idle well. And uh, there we go. Nice little CB125JX from Japan, 1971. We'll do a little walk around and get back on it. Get into the, uh, get into the uh, garage. So that's her. There she is. You have the information at the start of the video. So she should all be set now. She's running, driving. You've seen her running, driving. You've seen every little mark on her. I mean, there shouldn't be any more questions on her at all. So you're good to go. Now. And we go off. Well, that's been it. That's been the CB125JX. If you have liked the video, please do leave a like. Also, if you have any questions on the bike, just leave it in the comment section below. Or again, contact us via our Dundee page. And finally, if you haven't already, subscribe.